Hello, good afternoon, good evening, good morning, depending on where you're at in the world. This is a live stream with a live audience. And if you're listening to the, or watching the recording, you're going to want to fast forward maybe about 10, 15 minutes. I give time for all my friends to get in and we chit chat a little bit and catch up and then we get started with uh, the program. If you are watching the recording and would like to join us live, I welcome for you to do that. I love for all my uh, subbies to join us live. If you are watching the recording, lots of love to you and lots of love to all my viewers coming into the live show and all those that are lurking in the clouds. Love to everyone. Today is Monday, uh, June 8th, and it is about uh, 20 after 4 o'clock today. And let's see, we have Marge in the house. Hello, Marge. Love to you. And we have Kuna Wynn. Hello, dear. Love to you. Hi, Sophia. Love, honey. How are you? Can you guys hear and see me okay? You gotta be quiet, okay? You gotta watch your show. Good. Seems like you can hear me since Marge said hey. <laughs> hey to you too. <laughs> um, if you can't hear me or see me, let me know in the chat. <laughs> well, if you can't hear me, you're not going to hear me telling you that you can't hear me. <laughs> I'm, I'm okay. I'm, uh, I'm entering a flare phase, so, you know, it is what it is. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm here. <laughs> uh, no problems. Good, good. While we wait for every more people to get in, I am going to be right back. I mean, oh, I didn't prepare my be right back sign, but I will be right back. <laughs> Hugs to you too. Okay, we'll give it a little bit of time. Looks like we have a few more people in the clouds. Hi, Terror Love. How you doing, honey? This Monday. here for a second. Let me share this again.
there. <laughs> right, get the pen party started. <laughs> I hear ya. Yeah, we're definitely going to have a pen party today. We are going to talk pens like nobody's business. Give it a few more minutes for other people to get in. Oh, you should be, you should be intrigued. <laughs> no mods, you think you can be naughty now? Oh, I'm sure one or two will pop in. If not, I might have to elect one of you all to wear a blue shirt. And then you cannot be naughty because you might get chosen. Hi, Belinda, hon. How are you? And then if you're chosen... Well, you can't be naughty. And then, if, if you're chosen, there will be a blue shirt. <laughs> yes, yeah, she, she's getting started already. <laughs> what you drinking right now, Coon? I'm just gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna give you a quick little tidbit show really quick you'll have to watch the recording Ooh. <laughs> that brand new market uh, um, brand new items on the market as of April 2020 so you'll have to watch the recording <laughs> give Don a hug for me hi Don love you too I know, honey. And it's late for you anyway. Get off to bed, rest and sleep, and I hope you feel better tomorrow. Lots of love and hugs. No. Well, they do have marker pens. Um, they have, uh, Derwin has these, uh, these like ink pens. Uh, I'll show you. Actually, I have them on my uh, wish list. I've had, they've had these out for a while now. Um, where are they? They're these. Uh, so they have, they have graphic pens and they have graphic line painter set pens um, that they've had in the market for a while now. Um, see the graphic line painter pens? Those they've had out on the market for a while. These have been out for a few years. Um, but no, this is this uh, this is something new. They just came out with uh, in April 2020.
so um don't have a blue shirt at the moment um uh Kudoin, have you ever modded before <laughs> right Sophia <laughs> The pencils are lovely. I have the, the, the full set of 24, and they're right on my desk. And um, they will be talked about tonight. I love them. I use them. I, I do love them. There's Judy. There's Dottie. Oh, you're, uh, <laughs> you're off the hook, Coon. You almost got selected. <laughs> my Jude, my sissy poo is here. Love to you and Dottie. Uh, hi, Mousy. Hi, honey. How are you doing? People are fun are coming in now. Kunawin almost had to wear a blue shirt. She almost she she was panicking. She almost started to panic. Well, it is 13, 14 minutes in, so we're gonna, we're just gonna, we're just gonna get, get, get to going. So, she can go back to partying now. Yeah, <laughs> right. <laughs> Serve up them like she's, she's man in the bar tonight. Coon, that is your new job. You are, you are in charge of the bar. Okay. <laughs> As you guys can hear, I'm losing my voice. So, without further ado, we're just going to get into it. We're going to talk. We're going to talk a little bit of uh, haulage first, and a little bit of uh, happy mail, bir birthday happy mail, um, <laughs> and then we're going to talk pens and and all of that. So, oh, it doesn't like the white. Okay, so I, I I'm going to put this here because we're going to talk about these anyway. But I'm going to put that here because it doesn't like the white. All right. So first and foremost birthday gifts from mama the the la, the la, a couple things that she got me in addition to the 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 additional paper to my little printer you know she got me a box of the uh, one of the boxes of there's my Lori Lou hi honey how you doing love um you know she got me a box of the printer paper right so a couple other things she got me for my birthday she got me um, a Fit and Bear stencil that I didn't have. And this one is called Swirly Florals. Pretty, pretty stencil. Thank you, Deb. How you been, honey? I haven't seen you in a while. You doing okay? I mean, I've seen you on the web here and there, but... Um, and then she got me this multi-function adjustable uh, uh, bed table thing so I can art uh, with my travel uh, my travel case properly. That's okay, love. Um, she got me this thing that folds in all kinds of it's got 10 different ways it folds uh, to use uh, at my bed. So, uh, that came today. So, thank you, Mama Vaughn. Love you. Lots and lots and lots. I'm so excited. So, I'll be able to art my bed. I can't wait. That'll be used tonight for sure. Um, no, we're not going to talk about that just yet. That goes into that. Okay. Um, all right. So, now we're going to talk haul. Because um, I did get one other birthday thing, but that goes. that's going to go with the pen topic. Okay, so we'll we'll skip over the other birthday thing and talk pen topic. Um, okay, so before we get into that college, I was at yes, love my mama. She gets she always gets me good stuff. Yes. Well, there's more. There's more. So I was on one. I was on. Um, you know, I'm uh, uh, I'm I'm uh, I've known Nikki, the disorganized crafter, for a while. If you guys didn't know. Um, before she started in on the hops with, uh, 
Karen Tamir and that, but I've known her for a while. Um, and she had popped in a couple of my streams. You guys might remember um, that she had been in a few of my streams long back in January, February. She had popped in a few times or whatever. Um, and that. Um, so she was having an auction like a week a week ago now. Um, so I, I, I bought some stuff at the auction. So we're just going to go through the stuff that I bought at the auction. And it's gonna be, you're going to drool because I drooled and I had to buy some stuff. So we're going to go through that. Um, I don't remember. I mean, I remember for the most part everything I bought, but I don't remember everything I bought. Um, so I guess let's, let's look at the books first. Um, these are all vintage books, and you guys know my love of, of vintage books, and granted, I tear them apart and use them improperly. Don't cry for them because they were destined, and she even said she got, uh, first of all, these weren't part of a whole set. She got them at some estate sale, and one guy took half the set, and she got the other half the set. Um, so there was no saving them anyway, and they were going to go to the bin if they didn't get purchased. So all these books are real old. They're from the early uh, 1900s or before into the 1800s, okay? Uh, yeah, um, so these books are very, very old. This is from 1919. This is volume 41 of the American Society Mechanical of Engineers. Yes, and just the, uh, the smell of the book. And look, look, look at the, look at the, oh, this is going to be lovely to turn into a journal once I, I, I use out, use these pages, Okay. You know, guys know I love to use book pages in my work. I mean, it's got the sewn in binding and everything. I mean, just look at that lovely paper. Just just the, the paper. It's got that gold sheen to it. Oh, and just the smell of it. Um, this has got lots of, just, it's got that silky paper. This one, I'm prop because of the, the way the paper is in this one, I'm probably going to paint on these papers because it has that, silky feel to it. Um, it. It's just so silky, so it lends itself to watercolor painting. Yeah, she had good prices. Of, like this one, I purchased for $15 I got this book for. I mean, I mean, I mean, just once I use, this one I may not tear out the pages because of the way the they're so silky, uh, like I said, they lend themselves to watercolor painting um, or gouache painting. Um, so I don't even have to tear them out. I can just paint right on them. But they've got lots of good, you know, and I can I can image I can image the pages and use these um, as part of my collage packs. Just I mean just oh just and you got uh, this one's engineering. So like you can I can make you know collage packs geared towards engineering if I wanted. I mean just. Lots of eye candy in these pages. Oh, yeah. So there's that one. Um, okay. These next two are from the same set. And these are gobsmacking gorgeous. Hi, Kimmy! Um, again, all these books, uh, the same thing happened. She got half the set and another person got half the set. So they weren't complete sets. I got each of these books for eight dollars. Um, but wait until you guys see the covers of these. And all I'm going to say is um, patina. I'm just going to say patina to you guys. Okay. Oh my God, the smell. Okay. Look at that cover. Look at the patina on that cover, guys. Look at that cover. OMG. Look at that crest. Look at how beautiful that is. And the binding. Bye, Safia. I mean, just, it is just beautiful. These are the Collier's New Encyclopedia. This is volume eight. And I wanted this one. Oh, no, is it this one? Or one of them. No, this one. This one I wanted specifically because it has my state in it. Okay. 
Now, there's something else very, very unique about these books. And you're going to know why. But just, I mean, oh, the, the feel. Can you guys see the texture in this? You can feel it. It's got the texture on the book. But look at all that patina. Both of these have that patina on the cover. And they're both in great, I mean, a little scuffy, but they're old, right? Oh, just beautiful. Look at the pages. It has the marbling on the outside of the pages. Look at that. Look at that marbling on the pages. Okay? It gets even better. Wait. Wait until you see. Let me go there. Yep, this is one. Okay. Now, look what's in these books. Look what's in these books. Maps. Maps. Folded pages that fold out. So wherever in the, in the alphabet that a map of some place landed. So this is Russia, right? Hi, Brenda. I know. So this is Russia, and this is book uh, RES to SOV, right? So through throughout this book, and within that within that alphabet, there is maps. So this is South Africa. Yes, maps fold out. This one is South America. Yeah. OMG. So there is several maps throughout these books. And just, I mean, look at the eye candy too. The, the uh, different uh, cities and places that, oh my gosh. Just, I mean, just, they're encyclopedias. So you get all kinds of different eye candies. But, oh. That's Russia again. But I wanted the other one. I first got I first got this one because it has Oregon in it. Because that was the state I was born, right? So naturally I had to get that one. Look at that picture. Oh just beautiful. At Pennsylvania. Oh. Lots of arch oh. These are gonna go. These I'm gonna be using these pages where all there's architecture. And, and different journal pages and stuff. Um, yeah. Just beautiful books. Just beautiful books. And then, once I take out all the pages and maps and things, I'm going to turn these into journals. Mm -hmm. Yes, these are beautiful, beautiful books that are going to get repurposed and loved. So that's those two. One last book, and this one, this one was $10. OMG, this book. Oh. This was, again, in a set. She got half the set. The other guy got the other set. And this one, you can barely read it, but I know, um, and you, you can read part of the front. Um, you can read part of the, the spine, too. But again, relatively great condition. With, except for a few scuffs. But this is part of the works of Alexandra Dumas. Does anybody know who that is? Alexandra uh, Alexander Dumas? Any bookworms should know who that is. And just, I mean, again, all of them are hand sewn. He was a very prolific... Um, writer and just oh three musketeers just just the size of these pages just just to the this book will get uh, made into a journal uh, I'm gonna uh, most likely um, be taking copies of some of the pages and some of the pages will come out. But then I will be gluing two papers together. Yeah. Um, and making this a journal in itself. I'll be working on the pages. That's my plan. Uh, my plan is to... Uh, 
a glue uh, a couple pages together and take out some um, and then probably this has a little bit of that um, I don't know if I'll have to clear just so these are not um, but I will be working on these pages and we'll be doing it on stream um, and um, you know I'll be using oil pastels in here I mean just I, I the size I love the size of this book the size and the pages so what do you what do you need baby your ball okay hold on one second guys I got um, my name my grandson show me baby that interruption oh, no they're not dusty um these aren't anyway um they're, they're no I mean no dirt or dust is really coming off of my hands um yeah so okay so this one is copyright All of these books are real old. Um, this one doesn't show. Um, Alexander Dumas. Um, contents. No. It's in the back. glasses hold on gosh well wow. it's probably on the spine but you can't read it I don't know this one's super old like super old the first um, mechanical one, this one was uh, 1919, and these are copyright. They all came from the same estate sale. I guess the guy was a book collector of sorts. Um, okay, this is... First copyright was 1921, and it was later copyrighted again in 1926. And this one should be either the same or roughly the same. Oh, look at that beautiful picture. Look at that. Look at that color picture right there. In the, you can get this little paper there. Um, yeah, same date. 1921 and then again in 1926. Um, so all of these books are super old. Early 1900s. Uh, and before she had some collection some parts of the collections um, that were like uh, like late 1800s hi Dubs no 1970 is not old 1970 is not old 
Yeah, nine, yeah. Okay. So that's my, my book haul from her, but I did do some napkin haulage too <laughs> from Miss Nikki's uh, thing. And she's, um, I would look, I didn't look on, yes, on Friday. I meant to look again. I don't know if she had another, um, cause she had the sale. Her first sale was not this past Friday, but the Friday before, um, or the Saturday before. It was one of those days. Um, I didn't check if she had one this week. Um, so be looking for her. Um, she, I don't think she sold all her books. Um, so be looking for her again. The, uh, it's the disorganized crafter. Um, and she'll, she'll be doing it again. Um, cause she didn't get rid of everything. Um, okay. So got this one. This one's all about tea. Oops. All about tea. You guys know my love of napkins. And I got these specifically for the Hummers for CB. Pretty little Hummers. I'm going to be doing a, and then uh, and I got a I got a duplicate and I'll I'll be putting that uh, again I'll be putting a napkin package together for uh, to be added to my uh, thousand subscriber giveaway. I got these pretty red uh, uh, flowers. Yeah. She got these. She got a lot of beautiful napkins. I couldn't. I couldn't resist. I. I was. I was in it. She started with the napkins, and that. And that's. Yeah. I was there from the start to the finish of her. Of uh, her sale last week. Very very pretty. Oh, can't wait to work with this one on a journal page or in a project. Mm. Yep. Uh, more hummers with a rose. Or not a rose. Uh, yeah, that might be a rose. No, that's a, yeah, maybe, but it look, kind of looks like a, what do you call it, uh, one of these flowers, uh, you know, you all know what I'm trying to say, purple rose with a butterfly, this one is unique and so, so cute. This is um, hot air balloon, and it's got little, if you look on the, the ledge, it's got, oh, so it's a hot air balloon, it's got like a little castle, and then there's a little elephant there, <laughs> so that's super cute. The hot air balloon is sort of cut off, but that's okay. Um, I can either fill it in if I put it on a page, or have it at the top of my, my uh, page. Ugh, love this one. Look at those pretty orangey brown butterflies. Yum, yum, yum. Oh, so she did one uh, again this past weekend. This one's about music. I loved it. Yeah, she got a lot of unique and rare napkins that uh, I, I just couldn't resist. I had to. And she was do, she was selling them cheap. They were like a dollar a piece or something like that. Um, this is another, you know, funny, a fun, a funky and unique, um, like, circus one. There's uh, all four squares are the same thing. It's like a, the, the circus conductor. And this has got horses with flowers. So definitely a page in our future with that. Yeah, there was Debbie the first one. Another pretty one. I love the. I even love the background. Another pretty butterfly one. All, all four squares are the same. I love the pretty background too. Uh, another one of just music notes, hymnals, I think. Um, yeah, I think it's hymnals. Um, oh, the cameo one. Yeah, I got a couple of these. 
like I said, I, I, some of them I, I was able to get uh, multiples of. So uh, those ones, like I said, I'm going to be putting a napkin pack together to be included with the 1,000 subscriber uh, giveaway. I, I've got lots of stuff that, um, and I've got a few more things to get. And then I'll be putting up the, um, the um, this is another hot air balloon sort of type one. Um, um, oh, and these, this was my, this was like one of my favorite. This is, if you, this, this is, um, what do you call it? Uh, steampunk, like nobody's business. And it was only, it's only on one side of the napkins. Um, that's why you got uh, several copies. But so you got this one, and this one, and this one, all for like the dollar or, or two dollars or whatever I paid for it. So yeah. So and then you got you got duplicates because um, oh this this style too right. So it was four four different styles right. Yeah. So it was four different styles. Um, the clocks too. So isn't that gorgeous? OMG. Yeah. Um, yeah. So I, I was like, oh my gosh. <laughs> and, you know, she only had so many quantities of each. So, you know, you know, I was lucky to get what I was able to get. So that's all my napkins. Yeah. Um, yeah. All right. Now... If that wasn't enough good stuff. Now we're going to get into the pens, but before we do, we're going to talk about the new product that uh, Derwent released on the market. Oh my god, my ear is just driving me crazy. So in April of this year, well, okay, let me back up. So you guys know my love of Derwent, right? Last year, year and a half ago, two years ago, they came out with their watercolor palette, right? I didn't get it because it just had normal, everyday watercolor uh, colors in them. And uh, it was mixed reviews. Some, a lot of people were thinking that, um, and I don't know how true it is, that the colors were, uh, the, the, the paints were their blocks, right? Or very much like their blocks. And I thought, well... I have their full set, you know, the full 120 set of blocks. I don't need to get that watercolor paint set. So I didn't get it. But in April of this year, they released two new paint palette sets. They released a metallic paint set. Da -da -da, and a graphitant paint set. We, I, now own them. And we are going to swatch them. Um, Amazon doesn't carry these or didn't carry these as of April. Um, or when I looked, when did I order these? Hold on, where's my... I had to order these from overseas. Um, when did I place my order? And da -da -da, does it say date? No. Oh, May 16th is when I ordered them. Um, cutesy little uh, paper clip. Um, so as of then, Amazon didn't carry these. I don't know if they carry them now. But you get them in a cute little tin. Oh, and they swatch them for you. But that's cute. Get a little mixing space there. That's cute. I like that. And you get a little water brush in there. I know that. There's a little sponge on the side, which, you know, whatever. But these will be useful for me because they will now go in my little travel bag. And I think this, oh, this is a little stopper for the water. I don't know how good their water brushes are, but they're convenient. So we'll put it in there all the way? No. So it has to be taken apart. So you have to empty it every time you're going to go on the go. Which, that's kind of cute. Okay, whatever. Um, I'm just going to use one of my brushes for today. Um, that's cute. So in the metallic set, they have gold, pale gold. Now let me bring you guys down. Let me do that first before we start swatching. 
You got them too, Daddy? Oh, okay. Yeah. You got both sets? Let me zoom you guys down as far as I can. I can go. Okay. Um, so we have, like I said, we have gold, pale gold, silver, ice blue, blue, uh, green, which is more like a, a teal, which I kind of like, uh, lime green, sun, sunset, red, pink, purple, and deep graphite. Nice range of color. You know, and if, for, for me, even if they're not the best metallic things out there, um, for, for my travel, for, for me, you know, they'll be, they'll be fine. Uh, but I'm, I'm definitely excited about them. And I love their graphitant pencils, which I have the full set of 24. Um, it's odd that they didn't put um, all 24 in a paint pan set. They only put 12 of them. Um, but again, it's enough for me to have in my travel set, right? Um, so, yeah. But um, if you want to know where to order these, I can tell you where to order them from um, or where I got them because I know right now... Thank you, CB! I, um... Like I said, I don't know if you can get them from Amazon. I know you have to get them um, from overseas. What is what is with this? What is that? Um, or I had to. Oh, dinner's almost ready? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> um, yeah, so let's see what they have in the graphic tent. Because like I said, they have 24 colors. Mama, I said say buy my tails. Yeah? Oh, that's good. Yeah. Okay, go sit down and watch show or go play with Papa, okay? Um, like I said, I have the 24 set of pencils, but let's talk about what they have here. So they have autumn brown, and I'll kind of show them here. Autumn brown, um, my glasses off, russet. <coughs> you got to be quiet or you got to go out of here, okay? Um, meadow. Uh, green gray, slate green, which is more of like a blue. That's more of a blue. Um, ocean blue. Uh, steel blue. Um, dark indigo. Aubergine. Juniper. Port. Wine color. I love that color. It's one of my favorites. Um, and their graphite gray. So, yes, very, very excited. Um, yeah. So, let's see how these swatch out. Let me get out a regular brush. Um, yeah, the regular Intense Travel Set. Yeah. Um, the, and when you look online, you can order them straight from Derwent. But they're going for $25 a pop. Um, the place I ordered them from, um, now I don't know if they're still at this price, but they were lower priced than um, uh, Derwin. And that may be because they bought them wholesale, they were able to uh, uh, do it at a, lower, at a lesser price. Um, so, but the place I got them from was Colt. Uh, this is the place I got them from. This doesn't have any pricing on it, but uh, I can tell you that um, I paid $36 and some change, total price, including shipping, to get them from uh, overseas to here. Um, does this have an address on it? Uh... And here's a here's the website. Come on, focus. 
it's coltpens.com slash smile. Um, so, like I said, $36 total, including shipping, um, for, do for both pan sets. Uh, most, yeah, you won't find them. That's, a, uh, once I, I don't remember who I saw, um, that had mentioned it. It was somebody's stream had mentioned it. And I forget who now. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Somebody had mentioned it in one of the, in somebody's stream. Um, I don't know if it was in a chat. Um, and I said, oh. And I right away went looking and hunting. And I found them. This place had. Well, I've seen them online at um, Derwent, too. Um, but then I found this place. Um, and I, I ordered them. Because I, I, I was looking, too. I was looking at all our normal places to find them. Um, so, yeah. Check out that place and, and if you guys really want them. Um, they came relatively quick, too. Um, no, not CC. It was at somebody's stream. You know, we were all talking in chat. They Because the streamer didn't have them. It was somebody, you know, in chat talking about them. Um, it may... You know, it could have, I don't think it, it may have been one, it could have even been one of mine that people were chatting, but I don't think so. I think I was at somebody else's stream, and we in the chat were talking about stuff, and somehow it came up. I don't remember now. Um, and I wish I could remember, because I wanted to give credit to that person, but I can't remember now. Um, but I went right away and started looking, because you guys know I like, I like, um, yeah, I'm a big, you know, I like your wind, but, you know. Okay, so these are the uh, metallic colors. Um, you know what? Let me. Um, well, no, I want to see how well they release. Let's see how they they well they release. Seem okay so far. Um, I just took my wet brush to the to the pan. Oh, you guys are not seeing. Um, so let's see how they. Oh. Okay. They, they release really well. I mean, metallics, uh, you know, they're not um, like the stone pigments, but they usually t they usually um, don't release as well. But, you know, this is only the gold. So let's just see how it uh, pans out. Okay. I'm not a, usually a big fan of these plastic... Um, Palettes, um, but you know, like the colors so far. See how my, how they dry up. That's gonna be. Let me close my door. Steve, I'm gonna close my door for a bit, okay? We're we're man we're manning the the grandchild. My kids took my two oldest granddaughters to the Dells this weekend, uh, or, uh, well, Sunday into the day, um, so, um, yeah, nobody in the U.S. sells them, that's why I, I went overseas, and like I said, $36, including the shipping, now, I don't know if they still have it at that price, I'm just telling you what I paid for it in May, um, but they they were quick. I like I said, whatever date that was, May May 18th or whatever, and I just got them today, so it took three weeks. Yes, I had their full set. Oh, the graphite. Are you talking about the graphite tent? I have the full set of graphite tent pencils, the 24 set, which I love. And these these some of the, these 12 colors are part of the 24 set pencils, which I love. These metallics are releasing really, really well. I will say that for a metallic. Um, typically, metallics don't release uh, typically too well. Oh, look at that pretty color. Ooh, that is a pretty color. So far, I'm like at all of these. Um, ooh, that is a pretty color. Oh. That is a pretty, pretty color. Yeah, these are going to add a nice addition to my travel my travel uh, bag. 
for what they are. They are, yeah. Ooh, that's a pretty blue too. I like that. It's like a, it's like a cerulean. And but we're gonna see how how metallic they look once they dry up. I haven't yet. Um, it's. I think it's one. I think I have that. Um, or maybe I don't. Maybe that's something I need to put on my wish list. And it's one. Maybe it's one of those things I've been meaning to put on my wish list. Oh, that's pretty too. Oh, look at that. That's like a. This is like a teal jade color. Oh, that's even prettier than their swatch. Look at that, guys. Look at that color. Oh, that's pretty. Even if it doesn't turn out to be super metallic-y, that's a pretty color. I like that color. Mm. So far, I like these. Ooh, this is pretty too. This is lime gold is what this is called. I think I said lime green when I was first naming them off. This is pretty. So far, I like their colors. Especially, the their, you know, their silver and their old gold is really pretty, too. Oh. Ooh, this is very corally. Ooh. Oh, that's pretty. Oh. Yep. I like it. I like it a lot. Okay, Jude's. Drive safe. Ooh. The oh. That's pretty. Hmm. Very, very pretty. Very pretty. Maybe I should order a set of these for my giveaway. Hmm. Then I have to wait another three weeks. I really don't want to wait another three weeks. Oh, their purple is nice too. It's a nice lavender in color. Uh, yep, I can see the, I can see the, um, the mica in the water. So they are very, they do uh, have a lot of shimmer to them. Uh, yeah, very nice. Okay, so we'll, we'll let those dry up and see how uh, metallic those are. Okay, then let's try these. do the same thing. Um, let me move up my paper. Thanks, Deb. What's the price there? Uh, since I can't look at the moment. Yep. Oh, this is a nice compliment. Because uh, it's the graphite color. Oh, yes. To offset this palette. Oh, and I have my Neo 2s, and I have my um, other paints too, the, the Peerless. I am all set in my travel palette now. 16 pounds, yeah. So it's going to be, the, it's going to be, it's the same price. So it's going to be like whatever, I don't know, $14 or something like that. Oh, that's, yep. Yeah, these these are the same colors, just in in a palette form. I love this because I was thinking about putting 
my pencils, taking them off my desk. Um, oh, I'm so glad I got this. Now I don't have to. I can have my pencils on my desk and I can have my palette in my bag. And they're releasing real well too, but they're, I mean, these are graphite, so it makes, it makes sense. But yeah, I'll be able to do my, my doodlings and, or, or you know, color in with them or um, put just dabs of color on, whatever, and then doodle. Yeah. yeah here's another one of my favorite colors in the graphite. Oh, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Free shipping in UK, yeah. I don't remember how much the shipping charges, but whatever. And like I said, it was thirty-six dollars for both all day. So whatever. Here's another one of my other favorite colors. Um, whatever that is, you can't go wrong for for both. You know, thirty-six dollars for both sets to travel from the UK to here. I mean, so worth it. Yeah. Yeah, and like I said, I mean, it only took, uh, like I said, what was, what was whatever that, that date was, I ordered. I don't want this date. Today's what, the A, so eight days. Plus 15. So, you're, uh, uh, yeah, three weeks. I didn't think that was too bad for them to, you know, pick, pack, ship. Uh, oh, that's the wrong place. Um, and, you know, due to the COVID and, I mean, all that, three weeks to get here, I can't complain. I, yeah, I, I, I know. I seen um, I seen you talk about that earlier. I think it's a good idea. I'm not giving up my Saturdays yet, but I, I think for you it, it's a, it's a good idea. Um, because the late afternoon then you won't be um overshadowed. Yeah, I definitely like both of these palettes. They are definitely going right in my bag as soon as they dry up. And then when these are done, I get I can fill these with whatever I want, but um I'll probably order from this place again because um, not that I'm going to use these up anytime soon, um, you know, although they are half pens, but I can't imagine myself using these up anytime soon. Oh, I, uh, let me, yeah, hmm, um, looking for the shimmer. Okay, I'm definitely getting shimmer off these four, off that one. Yeah, we'll let them dry, but these are the colors so far. Uh, they got a good color range in both sets. Um, you can see the shimmer coming through on the metallics. Um, as they dry up more and more, you can definitely see the metallics coming through. Um, like I said, a good color range. They're, they're a good uh, little travel set, um, you know, for what they are. Um, you know, they're, they're, they're not, you know, like a main palette kind of set. Um, you know, they're definitely a complimentary set. Um, they're not meant to be, but yeah, I love the color ranges. I, I, yeah, 
Yeah. So, there you are. That's what they are. Um, yeah, I'm happy. I am actually really happy with those. Okay. So, I'm going to put those over, way over here. Um, so, they can dry out for a second before I put them in my bag. Um... Debbie's the same as me, Central Time. Oh, black paper. Yeah, you know what do I have? Um, let's see, do I have anything dark? Oh, I don't have black, but I have blue. Um, actually, no. Let me see. Actually, oh, good idea, Dottie. Somebody was thinking. Somebody who is thinking. Let me see. What do I have? Aha. I do have black paper. Let's do this again. Let's see. Let's see how well they shine. Dottie's thinking. She's she's got her thinking cap on today. Oh, you lucky dog! My, if I ever have a chance to make it to the UK. I have so many places I, I have on my my wish list to go to. <laughs> like seriously. I need to go here and here and here and here. <laughs> I'm gonna have to I'm gonna need like two weeks just to go to so I can fit everything in. Yeah, for sure. Put a little bit more in there and see. Hi. Hi, baby. You gotta be quiet, okay? I got fruit snacks. You got fruit. You got fruit snacks. Oh wow! He's got fruit snacks, y'all. Oh, and you got you brought one for me. Oh, thank you. I love you. I love you. Aww. I'll, I'll watch show. You want to watch show? Okay, Grandma put it on for you one second, okay? I'm going to buy myself. Uh-huh. I'm going to put it on. I'm going to move, move, move the toy. Okay, you're going to move your toy so you can eat your fruit snacks. Okay. Can you go La Loki in? Of course. Of course. Yeah, surprisingly enough, they actually release really well. Um, what I'll probably do is when I use up all these metallics, I will find uh, an alternative um, metallic paint to put in here. So I can always have a metallic paint to put it, uh, in my bag. You do get a different color, uh, or like you get a deeper blue with this when you do it on black. Um, I have so many. You have so many fruit snacks? Ooh, that just lights up on that black. Of course, it kind of it kind of lights up too on the the white.
Yep. That's what happens when Grandma comes home. They do, Dottie. Oh, well, then I might just have to refill. Go, go, sit up there and get, go, go eat dinner, baby. Yeah, because he wasn't, he wasn't talking but maybe four or five words before Grandma came home. But he sits with Grandma. I, 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 I said, wait for Grandma to come home. Wait, he'll be talking. I'll have him talking. And ever since I got home, he said, you know, I, I had him sit in here with me every day. We watch our shows, educational shows for him to learn how to talk. And I talk to him all the time. He was, he was going to learn how to talk. Tell her, heck her high water. <laughs> My grandson was going to learn how to talk. So between me and his shows, yeah. Yeah. What happens when Grandma comes home? And now he's just, he's progressed. We just keep talking to him. And he wants to, he wants to know everything now. Like, when, you know, what is this? What is this? <laughs> 250 each? Oh, well, you know, maybe I'll do that. If, if, but... If I don't replace it with, with some of Debbie's or, um, you know, get an alternative, you know, company. But uh, definitely re will refill these. Um, Cause it's a nice. Uh, again, I'm not fond of plastic pellets, but I, I kind of like the fact of the size of these. Um, and I could buy the little meat in tens um, if I wanted, um, but I think I already have these now. I might as well just um, over here. go over there and go eat dinner now, baby. Come on. You, you can you can talk. You can be in here. And just grab him. Um, yeah, I don't know if I'll replace these or, or somebody else's, but um, it's a nice little, since I already have these, I might as well just stick with these. Because yeah, as these are drying, more, sh more shimmer is coming to the, the forefront. I don't know. See this 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 uh, graphite color. I don't know how much it's going to show because it's so dark. But we might get shimmer out of it. See, and now the the, the yeah this, this this weird this um where we get a nice corally peachy color here. It turns um like a orangey color on the black you see that so you do get different color um like here it's very purple and, and here it's more of a mauve um where it, it's here it's a, a nice uh deep deep pink it's more of a brighter pink here and i don't know what kind of color that is here but it's it's a nice pink here i think i like them more better on the white than i do um see and then like this 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 pretty uh, jade green color it, it turns like a, a yellow the, it, it does come up the lime gold here I think I like it better uh, on white um, and granted I wouldn't be I wouldn't really be coloring on black anyway so I prefer the actual color you get out of it when it's on white <laughs> All right. <laughs> yeah, no, he is. He, I I refused. I you know I did the same thing with my boys. You know, I, and same thing with my my granddaughters. You know, they they they. I kids got to speak. Use your words. You know. Um, it's it's a big it's a big uh it's a big uh must in 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 my world. So. All right, so that's that. Lovely little things. I'm happy I bought them. 
So now you guys know where to get them at a fabulous price at a UK store near you. Hi, Susan. Um, so that's that. Okay, now we're going to talk pens. <laughs> and um, first, uh, I did get my jet pens order, which is all of this stuff. And we're going to talk about my all my favorites and things of that. Uh, but let me first say, because, you know, I was going to just do a regular video, video, turning it into a stream because I got my haul from jet pens and I've got a lot of pens to talk about. Um, and because I got this, I, 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 um, and I don't, think, uh, I didn't see this person come in yet. Um, and if you're here, I love you. <laughs> um, this is a birthday gift. I was flabbergasted and totally surprised and, um, yeah, um, the box alone, I was like, holy freaking cow, okay? It's called the GC, or, or is that BC maybe? Let me read this again. No, the GC writing collection. Yeah. When you open this... <laughs> The birds sing. Um, it came today, and I, um, yeah, so I decided to stream. It's the quill and pin set. It's just lovely, and um, I was wowed by this gift and you know who you are and I don't know if um, she wants to be announced so I'm not going to um, but thank you thank you thank you from the bottom of my heart I love you <laughs> and it is such a beautiful gift I just wow <laughs> um, just wow it is just uh, I yeah <laughs> Yeah, so that's why I did the pens last on the stream. Where did I put my... Oh, yeah. Oh, my goodness is right. Yeah. Um, it comes with um, a quill pen and a, a glass pen and um, inks, uh, different color inks and different nibs. And I'm just... Yeah. <laughs> oh, geez. I... I uh, I can't even, yeah, yeah, a little, little cleaner, a little cleaning rag, <laughs> so, um, it feels, it's, it's, uh, yeah, I don't even know if this is pewter or silver or what, it, 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 this is, I mean, it feels like real material, like, it doesn't feel fake so I and I didn't look up this set I know I know it came from Amazon um, and she says on the gift receipt it says dear Shauna happy birthday my dear sweet Shauna thank you so much for being such an inspiration and shining light wishing you blessings and happiness on your very special day and all days with lots of X's and um, yeah I mean it just feels it feels, it just feels nice. So I can't even express how much I thank you and love you right now. <laughs> um, I don't even know how to get this out of here. This thing is stuck by a, oh, it's in a rubber band, I think. Oh, no. Let me take my glasses off. This is just so, so pretty. This is, um, 
I don't know how to get this off. Oh, there it goes. And this is a glass dip pen, which I'm excited about because I've been wanting, uh, I was looking at um, pens to use with my acrylic inks, and I guess these are supposed to be good, um, and I don't have to worry about, uh, you know, I was, I was asking about the, um, the, what do you call it, pens, the technical pens, and I didn't want to have to worry about cleaning them after each use and all of that, but I guess these are supposed to be really good and supposed to go a long way um, once you dip them, I guess. Um, so this is just absolutely gorgeous. You can see the, it's all a hand-blown glass. Um, so I'll have to learn how to use this. They don't know how to do that. <laughs> um, so let me put this back in here really quick. Um, oh, this must be okay. So this is okay. What's how does this work, people? I know the ink's supposed to sit there, right? Yeah, but then ah, okay. But the glass one doesn't do that, does it? Oh, I suppose it does. Okay. All right. Well, we're gonna we're gonna give this a go. Oh, I got yellow, green, red, purple, and whatever color this is. This is what color? Looks like sepia of some sort. Mm. Um, doesn't say. Yeah, uh, yeah, it is just beautiful to look at. I, I was, I really was flabbergasted when I opened up, because I was like. I knew that I had packages coming and the the, the the jet pens was on its way and then you know I knew that I was expecting it you know today tomorrow I knew that eventually the the Derwent stuff was coming and you know mama stuff was coming today and um, you know so I, I knew I had stuff coming but I didn't have anything from Amazon I did I you know so I thought it may have been something that mama was sending me and when I opened it I was like holy freaking cow <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I was, um, yeah, okay, so, this is not going to be pretty because I don't know what I'm doing. I finished my dinner. You finished your dinner? Oh, wonderful. Mm -hmm. So, I'm, I'm just going to preface that right now that I don't know what I'm doing when it comes to calligraphy, but we're just going to swatch it because, well, it's here. And um, I can. We're going to see what color this is. I don't. Uh, wait a minute. Maybe I. Do I need to soak or uh, shake these inks first? Let me just make sure that these inks don't have to be shooken. Put that over there. I, I guess I have to. I have to learn how. To, uh, I'll have to learn calligraphy now. Oh well. And this is a sepia color. Oh. Or maybe it's black. Oh no, this is black. Okay. So this is black. Oh, wait. Don't do as I do because I don't know what I'm doing.
Well, this is fun. Like, you don't have to put very much on there, I guess. I got it on my hands. Oh, this is some real ink, you guys. Look. It's not washing off. Okay. <laughs> okay. Put that over there. And, oh. I'm going to stain my table. Well, you want okay, give me a second, baby. Hold on one minute, okay? Let me clean it. Where's my jar? I'm going to do my jar. That's some real metal there, y'all. I'm just saying. Yeah, hold on. Grandma, get your baby bus. Now you gotta be quiet now. Alright, so that's the black. Let me. Well, I have my, um, my, what do you call it? My Lumi pen. Um, so I have had some practice. Um,. But, you know, my practice is just about that. Like, I don't know how to write all fancy and all that stuff. Um, So this is fun. Okay, I'm not going to swatch all these. Unless you guys want me to swatch all the inks? I don't know. Let's do one more, but we'll do it with the glass pen and see how terrible I am, okay? I do love this. This this feels nice on my hand. Um, um, and I did give you guys the name. I'm not going to look it up because it was a gift. But I do know it was on Amazon. Um... So it's GC Quill MU02 Calligraphy. Oh, let me, oh, there we go. So um, if you guys are looking for this set, that's what it is. Um, do you know it was on Amazon? Um, so let's do, let's do green, I guess. Oh, I know. Actually, let's do what I want to do. Is this my sepia? Yes. But this is so cute and it feels so, feels this stuff, I don't know if this is like stainless steel or... I don't know. Again, I'm not looking it up because it was a gift, and I don't want to know. Um, so don't put the price. If you look it up, don't put the price in the chat, please. Oh, yes, most definitely, Daddy, most definitely. Um, most definitely. that these little bottles fit right in there. I love that. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. My wonderful, beautiful friend. You know who you are. Okay, so this is my regular FW ink. Okay. okay. Let's see how terrible. These are supposed to be able to go on for a while, these glass pens. Or, yeah. Um...
feels, I guess it feels a little weird, but it feels okay. If that makes any sense. I mean, I'm a, let's just see. Let's see how it does. Oh, wow. Oh, we are in business people. So beautiful. It's so pretty. Ah, it's so so pretty. Okay. So yeah, now I can use my regular all the beautiful colors of inks that I got there for more than just painting with. Isn't that fantastic? And where'd the thing go? a plastic doohickey thing. Um, okay, which one of you took it? Or moved it on me? Let's just see if I put it under here. Because I probably did. Okay, where did I put it, y'all? I'm going to play with all those different nibs. Oh, let's do the square one really quick with another color. And then we'll get into the other pens, the, the regular writing pens. But I'm still missing the plastic doohickey thing that's supposed to keep protect my nib. Okay, I'll find it after I'm done streaming. I don't know what the heck I did with it. I don't know. They are Marge, yeah. Stainless steel nib. Okay, good. Yeah, it feels it feels it feels kind of the. But I wonder what this is made of. Because what is the is this what kind of wood is this, Debbie? Is it, um, like, because it feels kind of heavy, like, it, now how do I get this out of here? I just, okay, I just pull. Okay, that's nice. Next to my glass. No. No. No, no. It was here. Oh, there it is. Found it. It's, it was under. It was under the red. I keep that tip protected for sure. All right. Let's. Um, oh. Let's try. Let's try green. Yeah, the dipping pen got pretty far. I didn't dip it in very much when I first, you know, did it. Um, but the second dip, I mean, I dipped it normally, um, and it'll go. It still had ink on it to go further. Um, and I guess that's the 
thing I seen was it yesterday yeah I was watching one of CC's videos and she uh, one of her older videos um, and I was watching one of her older videos and she said in the video because somebody had, I guess had given her a glass pen and I was like oh wait you know because like I said I've been trying to find something to do with the um, the, the about the technical pen because I didn't want to get into the whole messy with having to clean it all the time and blah 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 and um and I guess and she was saying that they're supposed to go far and then lo and behold that shows up today I was like you've got to be kidding me um so let's do this square nib oh this is gonna be this is gonna be bad y'all okay that's all it said wooden pen and stainless steel nibs rosewood oh Just smears for lefties. You can't write with with anything but a regular pen. You can't. I mean, you can't. Oh. Stop doing that, Shauna. Oh, I'm not used to square nibs. Now, bear with me a minute. Oh, that's a lot of ink. Oh, I did that wrong. Let's try this again. Got it in there right? Oh, I didn't have it in there all the way. Guess that would help. Let's see if now I can do this. Okay, what's the deal with the square nibs, man? That's the pointed one to work, right? It's like I get one letter out of it. Something ain't right. Hold the square nib at least 45 degree angle, then you can get italic writing. Hold it straight and you get round hand. No, so it's not like, um, from rosewood and stainless steel nail. Okay, thank you, Belinda. Very nice. Very, very nice gift. OMG. I just gotta learn how to use this square nib. Okay. 45 degree angle. Gotta, gotta teach Shauna how to do this now. But this is some serious ink though. Dudes, look. <laughs> it's like I'm not getting... I don't know what the deal is. You're, oh, I don't know, honey. Like it's not... Like the... the not doing what it's supposed to be doing. Yeah. This pen's not. Hmm. This one works. Oh, this one doesn't have that little... This one's got a little... It's got that dip in it. What's that dip in it for? We know. Let me put my glasses on so I can move with y'all what Dottie's saying here. It takes practice. You'll need to read up on it or get a book. <laughs> Thanks, Marge. Yeah, definitely. Because, yeah, I'm not getting anywhere with this, this nib here right now. Oh, 
Wait. Okay, let me try one more time. Maybe I wasn't... Maybe I had it too, too much in my hand. Oh. MG. Okay, no, I'll read... I'll have to... I'm going to have to get more... Read up more on it. and I'm just going to take the ink out of it. and I, I will... I'll figure it out. I love the pen, though. Yeah, because it had ink in it. It sure did. Oh, the dip was a reservoir. Okay, that makes sense. Um, actually, I think I'll put... All right, have a good night at work, baby. Love you. Love you. Bye, Ollie. Okay, bye, bye, Uncle Andy. Get inside the get inside the bedroom. Oh, you're such a dummy. I did better with the glass pin, and that was the one I was afraid of. But I have some other nibs here, too, that I can play with. Um, but this, the regular pen nibs, I do fine with. It's that square one that, obviously, I don't know what I'm doing. And I need to figure out what I'm doing. Okay. Which I will. I will. I got, I got, I'll have to practice. Practice, practice makes perfect. Okay. That's enough of that nonsense. Let's talk regular pen. Something we all can relate to. This goes in there. This. I got my little rag dirty. That's okay. Okay. This way over here. Okay. Now. I'm going to preface this by saying that, um, actually I need this. Let's go back over here. I'm just watch them in here. Um, I, I am not, um, I don't know everything, but I've picked up some things. I know what pens I like. Um, you know, I, I'm not a Janet or... Uh, Kathy uh, Arbor or that, um, but I, I have taken some uh, information from them as far as the pens go. Uh, I know what works for me. Wash the nibs, okay. Um, and I've been doing a lot of doodlings, as you guys know, um, that I've come to find um, things I like. So, um, Take my suggestions with a grain of salt. Um, I do have some new pens uh, that um, I don't know how good they're going to be. These Le Pens are new. Um, I've not tried these yet. But they were very much like, in style, they're very much like the Uni Pens. That had, and very much like the... Um, the microperms in, in the way that they're made and the way that they're supposed to be. So, but we're going to talk all about my pins, which ones I like. We're going to test out these new ones that I got um, and some new colors that I got. Um, these are also new. This is the vintage set. Look at those pretty, pretty colors. Okay. Um, I've become, I will say, a pen connoisseur. Nuts. Uh, a, a knowledger of pens, um, per se, but I know what I like and I know what works for me. Um, yeah. So, let's try out, let's, um, what do we want to do first? Let's watch these new pens and talk about them a little bit. And then I'll go into what pens I like and why. 
When I lived in London, I belonged to the Society of Scribes and learned from some of the best. Daddy! <sighs> Rub it in, why don't you? Oh, I'm so jelly. No, I'll get a book. You're, you, but, yeah, you're lucky. Lucky dog. I'm just saying, I'm jelly. I am. Okay, so these are, um, like I said, like those other ones, these, and I got the size 1, the 05, and the 3. And um, these have very fine nibs, okay, and they're called La Pen, and I get all my pens, for the most part, from Jet Pens. They got great pricing and they're quick um so these are the le pens um these are called the technical drawing pens and um they're a little bit um they write well and these are um, pigmented ink. They um, they're made by Marvy, which is a company that's been around for quite a while. Um, the, pen is, the nib is nice. I will say that the barrel is heavier uh, or thicker in width than the other one and then the yeah the normal uni pen or the um the the per the micro perm um you know they're just in diameter they're a little bit uh wider in the way they feel um, they're definitely a little bit white wider um and they should be um Yep, waterproof. That's great. Just want to make sure because things may say something and then they're not. That was the point of one. No, the point one. Point one. And then I'll raise this up so you guys can see it. Oh, this is super tiny. Nice. This is the weapon. Point oh five, and this is the point three. Hello, They're right nice. Oh, this is the point three. So yeah, um, these are in black. Then I bought, this is an old, no, these are all new ones. So from the UniPen line that I showed you guys last time that I uh, also like, I bought the uh, Sepia in the 0.5 and the black in the, um, what is this, uh, the O2. So again... This nib is super, super tiny. And this one is the 0.5. It's a little bit thicker, um, but it's sepia. And you guys know my love of sepia ink. So this is the...
Nice. Nice pretty sepia color. I like it. Um, could have been a little bit darker, maybe. Maybe not. I don't know. Um... This one writes nice for the, um, now these are somewhat, um, newer to me. I've only been using the uni pens for a few weeks now, but I do like them. Um, but I don't know about their longevity, um, but they, they are, um, a pen that's, um, got good, uh, reviews on jet pens. Okay. Um, I bought some more of my... The white signals that I like, so that's nothing new. So I'm not going to even swatch those. Besides, I won't even show. Um, I got more of the the black 38s because I didn't have any more. I only had a couple of those. Um, now, you guys know that I recently had, uh, or not recently, but I had um, purchased about three weeks ago or whatever the Signo White uh, Angel. Right? Okay, so in that same line, um, I bought the bronze in that same line, and I bought the gold. They had one more, but it was out of stock, so I wasn't able to get it, and the silver. I think that the other one was... Uh, Copper or old gold, I can't remember. Um, but so these are their metallics, which I'm excited about. Can you let the doggy in, Ollie? Yes. So this is the um, whoa, nice new ball bronze. It's a little more orange, um, but that's okay. Um, it's actually a really pretty uh, color. It's just a little more on the orangey side. Um, yeah. But it's a nice addition to my stash, for sure. Um, this is the, the gold. Okay. This is... Um, um, it's a nice gold. I um, and the inks are flowing well in the metallics, but I would say I think this is a little more, a little more yellow than I would want. Um, but again, um, yeah, it's not the you know I I like an old gold color, so you know. Um, but it, it's a nice addition to my stash. The silver is silver, so that's nice. Um, they need to come out with, like, you know, a pewter or, uh, you know, some other of the metallics, and I would really love them. have a focus you freak um but i do have actually i do hold on it shouldn't be it should be registering some color now that color down there darn it actually i don't even have the focus on oh hold up i'm sorry i do huh let me change that come on Hello. Hold on. Why aren't you working? Why aren't my controls working? Let me... Sherry, <laughs> no, hold on. I gotta fix it. It's, it's out of whack. Hold on. Let me get configurations back up. 
I did have it on and didn't realize I had it had it on and Just my it's not letting me adjust my sorry guys I'm not trying to make you sick but I'm just not letting me move my oh because I oh, hold up I guess it would help if I had the stupid thing oh, never mind all right last time okay that should be good is that good Now you should be no no blurry. Doesn't work, baby. What are you talking about? Don't worry about it. Go sit down and watch your show. Okay. Can you guys see now? Is it good now or what? Okay. Sorry, I must have checked the box and didn't realize that I checked the box. Okay. <laughs> So, in the same line of the ones you know I love and I use most often, the Uniball Signo DX pens that CC turned me on to, um, I also bought this time around the, um, this is the brown, the... brown black and the lavender black The brown is um, a, a light brown. It's, so it's kind of leaning towards sepia, um, but it's not as deep as sepia. But I do love those DX pens for sure. And then this is a, another, uh, just like, uh, you know, because I try, try to br uh, branch out a little bit and kind of find other pens that I, I might like. Um, so same like the Love pen that I tried. I also found this and wanted to try it. Um, this is the Sarasa. I think that's how you pronounce it. I don't know. It's by Zebra or Zebra. Um, and this is their vintage color set. And I'm going to try these. These are all 0.5, uh, 5, uh, 0.5 nibs, and um, they're click pens. It does say, it say here, it said, um, they're waterproof pigment, pigment gel ink uh, rollerball pens. Um, 
not to be used upside down. So no hanging from the rafters and trying to write your suicide note, okay? Um, oh, and failure to retract after using may cause leakage. So there's another, you know. This is, I guess, supposed to be a, I don't know if this is a gray, or does it say the colors? Um, it doesn't say the colors, but this is kind of like a gray-black, I would say. Um, it's a very pretty black. It's not deep. Yeah, it's like a gray black. It's actually very pretty. Huh. Who knew? Make sure you... This is actually a gray. Nice gray. Yep, a nice gray. This is like a, um, a cross between a Bordeaux and a purple. So I'm going to put purple just because. It's a very pretty color again. Um, you know what? Let's put a little box so you guys can actually get a good color sample. Let's do the... Should have done that with the um, all of them, but I won't go back now. This is um, a tan color. So this is a very vintage color for sure. It's a very pretty color actually. Um, kind of like a tan ochre color. Yep. So nice addition to my stash. Mm -hmm. This is very much a, a, a blue gray, I would say. This is very much a, a deep gray black because it's, it's not, it's not. Um, it's, you know what this is? This is kind of like a, a, a purple blade gray uh, gray black color. It's not. It's lovely. I love that color. Um, which one? Oh, this one. Okay, this is, um, it's more on the pink side than red. Um, I would say it's more of a fuchsia, um, but not, not, um, mm, it's not an in-your-face, you know, magenta fuchsia. It's just a nice, it's a nice, wonderful pink. It's going to be nice to doodle with these. Caramel, yeah, that's, yeah, that's a good, uh, you'll see, that's a good way to express that color, for sure. Caramel. Yeah, very nice colors in this set. I'm excited, I'm, I'm loving that. And they, they do feel nice in my hand, and they have like a, there's a, a gripper part here. Um, the barrel feels nice, it's light. Um, yeah. So oh, yeah, that's that was my stash this time, uh, my my haul this time around. Um, so yeah, I'm I'm excited to use those. All of them, uh, I will say that I don't really buy anything that's not waterproof. There are some exceptions, obviously. Gel pens, you know, you got to be careful which ones are waterproof. Um, but once you let them dry, they're pretty they're pretty much waterproof after that. Um, okay, so we swatched. Now let's talk about the pens and what I love. And that way, you know, people can reference back to this, this video. And then I'll put, um, what I'll do is, is I'll put a list together of my pens. Um, 
that I use um, most often and what's what. We talked a, bit, a little bit about it the other day and everybody wanted me to put a video together so I will do that. Um, I, I thought I'd do this instead because I had my pen haul come in. And my, okay, so let me get out my phone. Where's my phone? Let me pull up my... Um, okay. That was the Colt pens. That was... The, okay, so my jet pens order. There's my jet pens order. Jet pens. The total order for all of this, 60 bucks. But... That was with shipping and everything. So hold on. Let me find uh, my actual. Let me go into my business receipt. Jet pen. Okay. Huh, baby? Bless you. What do you need? Go ask Papa if you need something. Grandma's almost done. Okay. Go watch your show. You want? You need a wifey? Wash your hands. Okay. And your face. Okay. All right. So here we go. Rundown. So the La pens. These are a dollar fifty nine. My favorite uniballs. Uh, no. These ones. The white ones. These are um, two fifty five each. Yeah, the and these ones are two eighty five each. The uni pens, one of my other favorite pens. Um, so let's see, the black was one eighty sixty five, and the sepia was two forty five. The the set of the vintage was eight fifty. Are you almost done? Let's, yes. Um, let's see. Okay, the metallics. Um, the metallics were each 280. Um, okay, so let's talk pens. Um, so I have a uni pen out. So okay, this is another pen that I buy. Um, this is another pen I buy. Let's see. I have these out, and I have these in two different sizes. So I'll talk about that. Um, my other favorite pen. Talk about these. Um, talk about those, but they're not nowhere in my stash anymore. I'll talk about these four pens. Um, definitely the that. Um, okay, actually this one. And we'll talk about Tosca's in there. Um, make sure I got them all now. So that is the that's the stepper. Uh uh uh. Pens I got. Pens I got. Okay. And that's it. These other ones are not really important at all. At all. At all. At all. They're not so important. At all. all right. That's it. Okay. So. Are you almost done? Almost done, baby. Yep. You want to say hi to the ladies? Yeah. Yeah. You want to put your face in the, the camera and say hello? Hi. <laughs> <laughs> okay, go watch your show. <laughs> All right, so. Um, hi. You saying hi? Wait, can you wave your hand? Can you put your hand up there and wave? <laughs> I wave with my face. You want to sit up here with Grandma while I talk to them? Okay, we can do that. All right. Okay. Um, 
I have multiple copies of all these pens, so this is not all the pens I have. Uh, I have multiple colors and whatever, but these are all the styles that I have, okay? <laughs> Hi, Lynn! Hi, Lynn! You shouldn't be out of focus now, honey. Uh, I have my, fo my focus in now. Um, yeah, my focus is fine now. Um, thank you, guys. Um, I'll bring this down, but you shouldn't be out of focus. I don't have my focus on. So you should be in focus. Um, all right. So again, like I said, uh, these aren't all the pins I have. I have multiple colors of all these different type of pens, but these are all the pen types I have. All right. Um, again, I'm no expert, um, but having been around um, the block, so to speak, um, with many of the ladies that um, that uh, I've been partying with for the last five years, I picked up some knowledge and um, uh, really gained some knowledge from from CC Janet and um, Kathy Arbor. Um, I, I, you know, been fortunate to, to learn which pens are, are really good for doodling or drawing, sketching. Um, so that's where my knowledge base, um, and then have, having had, uh, since Jan, well, March actually, um, been actively doodling, sketching, drawing, whatever you want to call it myself actively on a regular daily basis since March, um, I found which ones I really like. Um, and they were right, I can say that. Um, and with a few choices of my own um, that I like, okay? Um, they each have their own purpose. Um, for the most part, I use all these pens on a regular basis, with the exception of these new ones, obviously, because they're these these two types are brand new to me. Um, but I use all these pens, not that one, of course, um, on a regular basis. Um, we'll first talk about um, this pen. This is my Lumi pen. This is a um, fountain pen that you can refill. Um, it comes with a converter and you can put whatever ink, um, you buy ink for it. Um, and you can, I got this from Jet Pens. You can get these pens off of Amazon as well. I found Jet Pens to be most reasonable in price. Um, but they carry the pens and the ink. You can also get ink off of Amazon. But again, I found the price uh, for both the pen, the converters, and the ink. Um, to be best off of jet pens. Um, but you've got to be one that wants to work with a fountain pen and a calligraphy nib. Um, I use this. I love the sepia ink that I bought to, and it only holds the sepia ink. I don't change it. You can. Um, I have a couple converters. Well, one other converter that I keep that came with the pen, um, so I could change out the ink if I chose to. So that's one good option that, it, that this kind of pen comes with, is the ability to change the ink should I choose to at any given point. Um, but this one I, I solely keep for the uh, sepia ink that I chose to um, put in it. Um, I love it to, uh, <laughs> to work with um, my doodling and drawing. It works really nice with watercolors because um, of the light uh, beautiful sepia ink that I chose to, to work with. Um, I can watercolor over the ink and it doesn't just detract from the beauty of the watercolors. Um, and it's light enough that, um, you know, it won't take away from it. I can, uh, water I can draw over the watercolors with it as well. And I have done that as well. So that's, that this pen, um, like I said, I use it quite regularly. Um, this pen, this is a Pentel brush pen. This is another favorite pen of mine, and I have used it and do use it quite regularly. The ink in this pen is the blackest of the blackest pink of uh, uh, black ink ever. Um, 
it's uh, a brush nib pen, so it does take a little getting used to um, because it's a brush nib. But you can use it for click calligraphy, or I use it to um, my for my doodling um, to fill in um, if I want really black ink to fill in um, in doodled areas. I've used it on a few of my videos you would have seen um, in my watercolor warm-ups. Um, and it is refillable. You can buy the refill cartridges. Again, I found the price and the refill cartridges can be purchased off of jet pens. And that is the place that I go to most of the time to get my pens. You will see that that's where I will purchase because they are the most reasonable and economical and purchase the price. Hello, welcome back my Judes. Night dabs. Um, this pen, it's not my favorite pen, but it does have its use. Um, this pen, the ink in it is very black. Um, so that's not, that's one nice thing about it. It's from the maker, oh, oh, to, uh, I don't, oh, you want to say Otho, but it's not. It's O-H-T-O, so I don't know if it's Otto or Oto or whatever it is, but it's a, it's a food ball pen. Um, the black, the ink, I said, like I said, is very black. Um, and I only use it really for one purpose. Um, it's good for smudging. <laughs> um, it's good. I, in fact, I used it on my stream the other day on Saturday. Um, the, the ink takes a minute to dry. And by a minute, like, I mean a few minutes. Um, so it's not good for, like, if you wanted to doodle or outline because it's going to take a hot, hot minute to dry. And the nib is also very much a broad tip. So for my purpose, and for most people who'd want to doodle or draw or sketch, it really doesn't um, doesn't really fall into that that category. Um, but for mixed media, no, baby, no, no, do that, okay? No, right on grandma's table. Um, for mixed media, it does have the purpose that it's a good smudging pen. And that's the only reason why I keep it and have some in my stash is for that purpose. So it's one of my least used pens, but it does have its purpose in my stash. This pen is relatively new to me. This is a Herbin uh, ballpoint pen. Uh, the nib is nice. It's very small. I don't know if you guys can see that. Oh, let me see if I can... Uh, there we go. It's a very, very small nib, which I love. It's also a pen that can be filled. You, you want to show them? You want to show them? He's showing you. <laughs> um, it's also a pen that could be refilled um, because it has a converter that comes in and out. And I have dedicated this pen to its own ink as well. Also bought from Jet Pens. It, right now it has a very pretty rose gold purpley pinky um ink that i bought specific for it um that i used um recently on one of my water corolla warm-ups and this is called the herbin pen i don't know if that's um right side up or right side down yeah herbin this way h-e-r-b-i-n hmm. uh, i like it's i like its barrel size and that it's um this size it's, it's just a nice pen to work with. Nice pen to work with. <laughs> um, okay, so out of my pens, those are my four specialty pens, um, as I call them, um, that I keep in my stash. And I use quite regularly, except for the food ball pen. <laughs> This pen. Let's talk about these. These are the Micron or Pigma Micron Perm pens. And you will find these on every website known to man. And they're quite popular. Well, and by that I mean just everybody can get these quite anywhere. And they were the first pens I had. <laughs> um, they're not my favorite. Coincidentally, my favorite... This pen is the microperm pens. Both of these are made by Secura. So you would think that these 
brown barrel, pick her up, micron, would be, or stack up to, the this micro pen. pen. They don't. So, do I recommend these? No. You can get these gray pens for the same pricing, I, I think. Uh, it's been a while since I purchased these. Um, so I don't suggest these, but, or I don't recommend these. But if it's all you can find, get them. <laughs> don't write on you. No, no, you don't write on yourself. No, no, we talked about that. We don't, we don't write on ourselves, right? Um, I recommend if you want some pens. Now, these pens are the same in style. Um, and same in, you can get the microperms in the, in the different nib sizes. You can do everything you can with the the microperm pens that you can with the micron pens. And these last a lot longer. Right. These won't move. These are, are these are permanent. They're highly recommended. Yeah, these these did not last, did not stack up. These I I I put watercolor Oh, over these and under and I write on top of watercolor with these microperm pens. These are great pens and I highly recommend them. I don't recommend these. Same company that makes them, but these are good pens. I love these. Um, these were recommended by CC, Creation CC here on YouTube. And so I love those. And I have the different sizes. Uh, thank you, baby. Um, I have the Three different sizes um, uh, so far from this this line. When I after I had these for a while, I knew that I loved them. Thank you, CC. Um, I started branching out, and I I now picked up these three uh, these these lines. Right? These are new. I just got these. These are the barrels a little bit wider. Uh, these are the little pens. We, we tested these out today. I don't know how they're going to stack up, but they are permanent. Several different nib sizes. I don't know how fast they're going to wear. I don't know much about them, but they see they wrote nice. That's the only thing I can say about these. I have picked up and used the Unipens. Uni pen, P I N. These are the same weight. And you can get different nibs and different colors as the microperms. And that's why I like these ones and why I added these to my stash is that I can get different nib sizes and different colors. They got sepia, gray, dark gray, black, whatever. And so I needed something that was like the microperms that did the same thing but allowed me the option um, of getting the different colors. You guys know my love of sepia and grays. So this line allowed me to branch out from the microperms that I loved to this line to get some different colors. When I was shopping and I bought these, I also found the Stedler pigment liners. Again, different nib sizes, same like this one did. Um, and I picked up a couple of them. I've used them a few times. They seem fine. They're water resistant. Um, the nibs uh, have stacked up. I've only had these two lines in my stash now for a month. I've used them both quite a few times. They ink real well. They seem to um, stack up as well as these two. But again, I've only had them in my stash for about a month. Um, but I like them. I like them so far just the same. Um, but they afford me the different options of getting different colors and uh, sizes that I can't get in the microperm, which are my favorite. So, Sakura, if you're watching, make these in different colors. We love these. Okay. Highly recommended. Microperms. For your black, microperms. <laughs> Bye, CBs. <laughs> okay, <fun. laughs> Yeah, so, and this type of pen is good um, because of the way the ink flows. 
It allows you to quickly uh, sketch and uh, doodle and uh, it, unlike a ballpoint pen, um, the ink just flows softer and so it allows you to carry ink quicker um, and fill in, um, like if you're, if you're doodling or you're, you're drawing, and, and it allows you to, to run across your page fa faster. Um, so that's why these pens are good to have in your stash. Um, it, whereas the ballpoint pens are, are pens with, with uh, the, the non, uh, the, the regular pen type nib, um, the, these you won't mar, mar into your paper um, as like these. If you press hard and fast with these, oh, good night, Susan. Go, honey. I hope everything's okay. Yeah, I, I love this one. Uh, I've used it. I, I love it. Sepia, yeah. And they have different sizes. So in my next haul, I'm going to be getting all the different sizes. Because these were, what, like with these, right? So, like, I got some different colors, right, now uh, of, of these. And I know they come in different sizes. And now that I've tried them, I like them. I'm going to be getting all the different colors that I like in all the different sizes. They were simply just to try them, right? And now that I've tried them and I know that I like them, I'm going to be creating a full collection. Um, but yeah, so these pens allow you to I should, I should try. Shh, quickly fill in, fill in space as you're doodling, sketching, drawing, um, because of the way the ink flows. Um, unlike this one, you know, because it's, the more it's, it's a, a metal ballpoint ball pen tip, um, it, the ink flows great. Um, it's not that it doesn't, it's just that it writes differently. Uh, than the felt tip or whatever this tip is called. It doesn't even have what these called. These are fine liners. It's just the way the tip is. The tip is different. Um, blah blah blah. Plus these these kind of pens um, write over most surfaces. Unlike these, may not write on every surface. Uh, it doesn't even say. It's just. Um, Waterproof, fade proof. It doesn't say what kind of nib it is, but it's just got a different type of nib than these do. Um, so, yeah. So, that's one type of pen that I re recommend. And, yeah. Um, the next line of pens. Okay, so we talked about these. These all group into the same type of pens. All these different types. Um... They also carry in these type of pens, too. I don't know if I, I said the grays. There's light gray and dark gray in these pen types. Yeah, there's the, there's the dark gray and the light gray. So, yeah. Any questions so far about um, these type of pens or about the specialty pens that I showed? Any of these, any of these four? Before I move on. None? Good. Okay. Pipe in anytime if there's any questions or if I'm talking too fast or something doesn't make sense to you. Um, yeah. Um, okay. Let's talk about pastas and then we can move on into these other pens. Um, I do have a few pastas. And I only have them in black and white. Um, it's not that I don't like Poscas. I do. Um, but I only have a need for black and white in my stash. Um, and typically, um, there's only a few nibs that I will buy. There is this nib, which is very much like uh, a regular, the Unipen types. Um, there is the pointed bullet tip and the regular bullet tip. So these are acrylic paint markers. 
Um, they're good if, you know, you need to fill in a large area when you're drawing or sketching, um, or you need to write over something. <laughs> I, I, thought, I, I knew Brenda would... Um, yeah, I've become quite a, a pen H-O-R, you know, but, uh, but I call it a pen connoisseur. Um, you know, um, yeah, I'll be placing another, another pen order in a couple weeks <laughs> to, to, to complete my collection. <laughs> um, so yeah, these are acrylic paint markers. Um, they're nice to have in your stash. I only need, need, have a need for black and white. I don't really, they have, but they have so many different varieties and so many different uh, nibs and sizes of the Poscas. Um, f for me, um, I only really have the need for the few. Um, I find that their, their tips um, uh, can wear out quickly um, if you're hard on them. Um, so, but they have their purpose. If you need a, you know, a white, white or a, a black, on something that you're doing. It's like way too long. Way too long to get to me though. Yeah, um, everything's slower. Um, yeah, the white pass, because I have more of the white than I have the black. I only have a couple of the black, but I use the white more. Um, yeah, I will say that. I use the white more. Okay, that leads us into my white pens. Okay. For the longest time, I have always liked and always recommended, and I'm a, I, just in general, I'm a big proponent of Signo. Signo makes a great pen. I haven't really found any of their pens that I haven't liked. Um, and that they have several different kinds of pens. And in fact, all these four different kinds of pens, right here, not these, these four different types of pens are all from Signo. Um, yeah, so I, and I always had kept in my stash the Uniball Signal White UM-53 pen with the little orange logo at the tip, okay? And I always would recommend it and still do. They just make a great pen. And this, this gel pen, you know, any white gel pen, it, it, every once in a while it'll skip or something, but... Theirs is very, very white. Um, it is the best gel pen I've found. Um, and it, um, it just, it writes well. It's, um, it, 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 um, it's, it's good ink. And it's, um, you know, it, it just, it stays white. And I, you know, you typically don't have a problem with, with the, their, the, these pens, okay? Um, there is some I think you can find that don't have the orange marking at the top of the, the pen. Don't get those. Okay, Marge. Have a great evening. Um, don't get those. Get the ones with the orange at the top. These are the, the, you know, there's so many white pins on the market and they all claim that they can write on anything or that they're the brightest, whitest of the white. They're not. Um, and, and, and a lot of our... Okay, Dottie. A lot of artists will tell you that, you know, we all have a hard time finding a white pen that writes on, on mixed media and watercolor, whatever. Signo, is, in my opinion, has, has and does the best, you know, the best uh, out of all the pens so far that I've tried out of all the white pens. And, um, you know, it just is what it is. Now, that's not to say that, you know, there is Jelly Roll. I'm not a big, I'm not the biggest fan of Jelly Roll. Um, but these ones seem to be the best. Recently, having gone down this road of now becoming a pen person and getting into my doodlings and sketching and stuff, I found, the copper stick is watching, be good, Judes, be good. <laughs> um, Uniball. And that's how I came across these pens. I did not know that. Don't mess with that. No. Mm -hmm. Open the door and let the dog out. Oh, you need help? 
Well, you shouldn't have been playing with it now, should you? Um, Uniball. Now, these are our broad tip, right? These Signo ULM uh, 153 pens. They're a broad tip. Uniball Signo, which these are, makes the fine line tips. I I was like, wow, really? What? Um, they do. These are the UM120. Um, and let me put you on focus so you can see this because... Uh, bring it up here. You can see the label. There we go. They put the ink from this pen this broad tip, okay, in a thin tip or a fine tip pen. I could not believe it. I was like, what? No way. I've never seen thin tipped um, uh, white pens. So I had to have that. Well, having that led me into finding these, which I recently just got in and we just watched tonight, so I'm excited about having these in my stash, which I've got the copper, the gold, and the silver, because metallics are hard to find good pens for, um, but I've had, I have tried their, their broad, uh, pens that are similar to the white and the gold, silver, and that's what I had, and I, I wasn't a really a big, huge fan, um, but and this color is it's different than this color so I'm much happier with these colors than the colors that came in their broad tip but you know whatever um, but I do like these that we swatched today um, metallics and the whites um, especially if you're doing doodling or drawing um, a white pen a good white pen is is invaluable in my opinion and I use it quite a bit especially in my doodlings um, if you've been following me along you know that I, I have uh, I use those in my drawings and I like to have them in my stash so each of these pens have their place and their purpose Yep, yep, got to have the pants, got to be rummaging. <laughs> and, you know, now with my, now that I got my new Derwent pants, they're going to go in here too. I've got my, my little set of 15 Neo colors. I've got my Peerless watercolors. i got my washi tape, all that. And then all my pins go in here as well. What happened? What's the matter? I don't understand what you're saying, baby. You want something? Yeah. What do you want? Go ask Papa. Um, so that's that. So I'm a big proponent of Uniball. Have been for the longest time. Um, so when I started... <laughs> Yeah, I like the signal one. Yeah. Hold on. Hold on, guys. What do you, what do you need, Ollie? Show me. Show me what you want. white one? These ones clog up on you? These ones do? I've never had one of these clog up on me. Or are you talking about other pens? Yeah, 
No, there is not a Mr. Shauna. There's a ghost. There's not there's not a Mr. Shauna. <laughs> Oh, yeah, Jelly Roll. I don't like Jelly Roll. I'm not a fan. I'm not a fan at all. Oh, other pens. Yeah. Um. So, so, uh, so yeah. Yeah. Uh, no, I have I have a boy uh, a boyfriend, but I I don't I'm not married. Um. Okay. So when I um I've always I have uh been I, I think I talked about this in another video. I have been following CC uh, before her watercolor days. Uh. So a few years now, and um. And I knew she ha she talked about a couple pens throughout her her watercolor you know in her in some of her watercolor videos. So when I started this year getting into my doodling, uh, drawing, sketching, whatever you guys want to call it, I call it doodling. Some people call it doodles. Some people call it sketching, drawing, whatever. Um, I knew that she had some recommendations on some of her videos, and you know, so I went back to those videos, and you know, that's how I got started on the micro perm pens and whatever but another pen that she she had uh suggested were the uniball signal pens and that's how i got started on these pens and they come in a 0.38 and a 0.28 so there's two different sizes creation cc uh-huh and so she got me she got me started on on these pens and i was like you know, these these are the first two. When I really started go, getting going this year on, you know, um, branching out in, in my artistic uh, uh, drawing side, um, these are the first two pens, really, other than a few other ones that I had really purchased. Um, and, you know, but again, I'm a Uniball uh, supporter, so I was happy about that. So I, I purchased the 28 and the 38 in the black. Well... You know, having fallen in love with with pen work and all of that now, uh, because I'm a watercolor and I love my acrylic inks, and and doodling over them, or in conjunction with them, um, I branched out and now have bought a few different colors. I I, I started with with the black, and I bought you know the the Bruno black. I bought the cobalt blue black. I had bought the the regular blue black, and then I seen well now they got the brown black, they got the brown, they got the purple black. So I have all these in different colors and you know different nib sizes, and so big fan of these pens. I do I use these most of these for my doodling. Uh, most of my doodling will start with these or these. Um, but most of it starts with these, and then I bring these in when I want um, heavier color flow. Um, so you'll see me reach for these in my videos. No dog hair included. Uh, you will see me in my in my uh, videos use these most often. Um, yeah. Hi, Christine. Uh, now, uh, the Neo Twos, Tim holds his crayons. I'm sorry, I don't think hold a candle in comparison to Neo Twos. I don't think anybody's crayons. Uh, Neo Twos are made by Car and Dash, um, which uh, I believe is a Swiss company, and I don't think anybody's crayons out there um, can hold a candle, in my opinion, uh, to Neo Twos. I don't think anybody's are as pigmented 
I don't think um, anybody is uh, uh, released as well. Are uh, they're not permanent? Uh, Jet Pens is my supplier in most more times than not. Um, yeah. Um, so yeah. So there's the other, uh, the next signal, uh, Uniball signal line. Um, so we've got this. We've got this signal line. We've got this signal line, and we've got this signal line. So it's three signal lines so far. The other Uniball signal lines that I have in my stash are these. These are pretty standard, and you'll find these on Amazon, Staples, you know, Walmart, you know, whatever, you know, store. Um, you know, you can find these anywhere, but, you know, jet pens as well. They're the Uniball Vision pens. They come in the needle point and the regular point. Um, and again, it's just a uh, nib size, and they have them in black and blue. Uh, one's just tinier. Um, the, the, the needle point is a lot in similarity to the microperms in, in nib size. Oops, not over there. And let me bring the, so you guys can see. So this blue one, which is the um, needle point, is very much in size and, and flow, um, very much like the microperms. Um, so I reach for those from time to time. And then you have the regular uh, Uniball uh, Vision pens. These are actually nice, and they're permanent as well. Um, they hold up to abuse. These are regular, um, you know, pens that, um, you know, I can, I can, Now you need a video of the best books on watercolor. <laughs> um, I don't know if I can really do a best on the watercolor. There's a lot of good watercolor books out there. What I can, sh what I could do is, and I don't own a lot of books because I hadn't been able to really invest in a lot of books until recently. I have a few in my stash. Um, so I mean, I could kind of show you a few. Um, I, 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 what I can tell you is this, um, I could give you a few authors, I could tell you a few authors, but I really couldn't show you, but I will tell you in, in along the lines of, um, the pen world, if you want a good book to go along with this, Claudia Nice writes a good book and it's pen and ink and watercolor and that kind of goes along with that so and I would get the if you if you want to get into doodling and writing and watercolor uh, I would get the the books by um, um, who's the gal that um, that does the composition book, uh, what you would call it. Um, and I can't think of her name offhand. Uh, I'm having a total, uh, brain, brain, um, Jeez, for the hell up of Peter, Paul, and Mary. You guys know who I'm talking about. Anyway, I, I'll think of it. But the, the composition book uh, uh, girl, lady. Um, yeah. Uh, and then these are the new ones, the Sarasas. I like the way they felt in my hand when I wrote with them. These are also uh, another pen that I can't, I don't know if I can recommend them, but they are nice. Um... Yeah, but there's, a, there, you know what, there's a lot of good artists out there. Um, if you want good recommendation on watercolor books, I would suggest that you um, attend Kathy Arbor's channel and ask her during one of her sessions or, um, yeah, ask her for a lineup of books because she, you know, she shows books all the time and she would be the one to have a good lineup of books because she's bought more books than 
um, then Carter's got pills. Um, you know, watercolor's not her main topic, like it is, you know, her main medium, like mine. Um, yeah. But what I was going to say that I could do for you guys that um, may be new in the watercolor uh, arena is, um, and, and kind of going along with my watercolor warm-ups, if you want me to put together some, um, and I've had a few people ask for this, and I, and I guess maybe it's time, is maybe I do some private, uh, a couple private um, uh, get a list of who, who would like to attend maybe some private um, streams um, and do some beginner type uh, watercolor classes uh, type thing um, and we can talk you know beginner basics for watercolor if that's something that you guys would like um, That might be something, um, you know, maybe more beneficial. Um, what, baby? You want to clean up in the kitchen? Did you make a mess? No. No, you didn't, but you want to clean the kitchen? Yeah. <laughs> it kills me. <laughs> <laughs> of this book? No, but we can. We can, what I could, that, that's what I, what I was saying is we can. I can put together um, some uh, a, a beginner uh, stream, and maybe it doesn't even have to be private. You know, we can make it. You know, unless you know, we can make it. You know, not private if you guys don't. You know, don't don't care. But you know, I want I want people to feel like um they can ask whatever question but if there's a lot of new people maybe you guys wouldn't be come. okay baby i'm gonna help you in a minute i want you guys to not feel embarrassed to ask questions um those of you that have been with me a while um um it, it, you know so if, if you're around new people you might be nervous or scared or you know shy to ask you know questions um where if it's you know, if you're around people you know, you know, I, uh, all of us uh, that, that, you know, you're used to seeing all the time. Um, so you guys tell me, you know, I can, I can do it on a, on a, uh, a you know, a private one-on-one, uh, -on -one, you know, uh, invited um, stream, and we can go through some beginner basics on watercolor and ink. Um, and by ink, I mean acrylic ink, because acrylic ink is very much similar to watercolor. Um, and we can go through... Yes, baby. Yes, baby. Um, we can flip through um, the books that I do have, because the books that I do have are, are very helpful. I, I have a few. Like I said, I don't. I have like, I don't know, what, three or four books. Um, and I, ha I have some very good ones, and some that were recommended by Kathy Arbor in fact so we can figure out um you know and then if you want to um ask kathy questions or you know our absorber ground is lovely i have it i love it um also you want to know what's good too this stuff no Yes, this, 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 oh, Daddy, Mommy, hold on, guys, hi, I shot that, the kids are home, my, daughter-in-law and son took the two older granddaughters to um, the Dells yes us uh, yeah yesterday uh, and so <laughs> they're just coming in the door
But, um, yeah, I'm, I'm willing to do, you know, if that's something you guys would be interested in. But, yeah, I mean, and that that's it, too, you know. Um, the, the, mo the, the best thing, you know, the, the thing is, is just to play. But there are some, you know, because there are some things that... You know, you might be comfortable, you know, some basics that you might want to ask about or learn about. Um, yeah, this, this well, it's, like, you can put this um, on, uh, like, through a stencil, like you would, like, like you would, um, like, for mixed media, like you would normal gesso or, like, um, texture paste. And then because it's for watercolor... Oh, the dimension that you get with watercolor, oh, floating around it, it's just so awesome. Just saying. <laughs> so it's good. Yeah, and see, that's what I'm saying. Some people, even though they, they, they you know, I remember what, what it, you know, how, I, I could see how it would be for some people to, even though they have the, the products, they may not feel comfortable just getting in there and playing. And so that's why, you know, if, if, if that's something you guys want, you know, if you want to email me, and I'm putting this out there to anybody out there on YouTube, um, comes across this video or that follows me regularly, if, if you guys, if you want to email me, do this, email me or put it in the comments below that you would like a, a, a beginner watercolor, get to know watercolor video, uh, and, and flip through of the watercolor books that I have, and some beginner basic type stuff, um, I'm willing to do a video. I haven't up until this point only because there's so many out there, but I forget, I, I forget because... I I forget that that maybe you guys would want to do it with me because you guys know me. You know, that you guys might want to do it with me rather than just looking at other people's videos or asking, you know what I mean, because you guys know me. And so I forget that because you guys know me that that's maybe why you guys would rather do it with me than just searching on and watching. Because some, And sometimes people can watch videos all day long, but actually having that person to talk to and ask questions to live is different than watching a video that's recorded. So I, I forget those little things now and then. So that's what I said. I'm offering to do it. I just hadn't really had anybody reaching out for it. So if I get enough people wanting to do it, and that, and that by enough, it could be five. It could be, yeah. So put it in the description box or the comments. Yes, I would like something like that. Or email me if you want to, you know, just keep it amongst me and you. And hi, Scrap Girl. <laughs> oh, you got, okay. Yeah, and that's, that's another good uh, beginner book, too. Um, and it's actually on my list. And I'll pick up a couple of the books that I've been wanting to get, which are kind of beginner-friendly. Um, and and I'll put together a class. Uh, not a class. A, a get-to-know-watercolor-basics type thing. If I, you know, if I can get a good few people that want to be there, um, and, and I'll do it for you guys. Okay? So, again, email me or put it in the comments below, and then we'll we'll go from there. Because um, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm willing to, to put together a video or a stream for you guys if that's what you want. Um, yeah. So, but I hope um, this answers your questions about my pen stash to date. Um, I I'm a big proponent of Signal, um, of Microperm, and similar type pens. I I again, I don't know about some of the others' longevity, um, especially this one because it's brand new. But I'm a proponent of those types of pens. I'm a proponent of the uh, Signal gel pens so far. I don't know about these, but I love the colors that they came in. Hi, baby girl. Hi. How was your trip? Good. Yeah. I missed you. Yeah. I love you. Yeah. Did you have fun? Yeah. Yeah. 
All right. Uh, let me let me get off here. Everybody's bugging to talk to me and tell me about their trip. Um, but yeah, you know, and um, we'll we'll do it. You guys, like I said, comments. Let me know you want something like that, or email me if you want to keep it on the down low. Either way, and if I, you know, get enough. You know, people wanting to participate in a, a a free, you know, kind of thing, then then we'll go from there, okay? And uh, this is open to anybody that's watching my channel or a regular or anybody that's up in the clouds and, you know, uh, watching the recording, all my subbies. And uh, I love you all. I'm going to go and see my, my babies I haven't seen for a couple days. And, uh... Yeah, and uh, we'll go from there, guys. So uh, get yourself some pants. You don't have to have anything fancy. A lot of these were dollar something a piece. Even if you have just a ballpoint pen, I encourage you to get a pen, get some paper, and start some doodlings. Get out there and try it. You will like it. Um, and to my benefactor for my lovely gift for my birthday... I love you. You know who you are. And, um, yeah, we will be doing some another live doodling video soon with more of this. <laughs> so, see you guys later. I love you all. Have a great evening. See you Wednesday. Bye.